Welcome to the Infernal Brotherhood of the Scruffy-Looking Nerf Herders. Today I'm reading Star Wars Tales of the Jedi, The Golden Age of the Sith, number one, Into the Unknown. Sinigar, in the Chord System, which history will later call the Empress Tata System. Starbreaker 12, leaving orbit, heading for, uh, parts unknown. Don't you two ever give up? Gavin, Jory, Darragon, brother and sister, hyperspace explorers. Not till we find what we're looking for. When we do, we'll buy you a drink, Sinigar Control. Acknowledged, Starbreaker 12. We've put it on your tab, just like everything else. Not particularly successful to date. With a billion useful places to go in the galaxy, and a million unknown routes to get there, we've got to find at least one. Yeah, Gav, and there's ten million dangerous dead ends for every one that isn't useful. But there's always hope. We haven't gone down a black hole yet. Always a first time for everything. Without blind hope, a hyperspace explorer has nothing. Let's get going before Synagar Institute's parking charges. We've got bills to pay. Punch it! Hey, I've got a good feeling about this one. You always say that. One of these days, I'll be right. Looks like a shortcut to me, Jory. If we can get safely through the Star Swarm Cluster, the Navigator's Guild will pay us a fortune. Uh-oh, hang on. Some shortcut. I think we're almost through. Almost through. We made it. Just barely. Nobody will pay us for this route. It's worse than the last one. Time to limp back home to Cord's Minor using the old safe route this time, even though it'll take us a lot longer. Synagar Control, this is Gav Darragon on Starbreaker 12. We need some urgent repairs. What? Again? Just let me talk to Araba the Hut at the repair bay. Come on, Araba. We'll find some way to pay for it this time. We really need this. I'm begging you. Arva, sweetie, I would consider it a most personal favor, and I'd be forever in your debt. Let's talk about this face to face, okay? There goes another stabilizer, Jory. We might have trouble landing, but we're coming down. Synagar. Arba's Repair and Salvage. Well, Arba, do you think you can fix her this time? Ooh, anything could be fixed, but can it be paid for? Come on now, sweetie. You know you're the top of our list of creditors. Ooh, ooh. Last time you two had to sell your dwelling in Synagogue just to pay me. You have no more collateral. But you can trust us, Arba. We just had a run of bad luck this time, Arba. Hey, it should have worked, but the stars at the core of the cluster were just too dense. I know we'll have better luck next time, sweetie. I've heard that one before. This time, you're not getting the ship back until repairs are paid in full. I'm losing too many credits as is. Had to install a whole new security system just to cut down on the parts people steal. Look, Arba, the Navigator's Guild certified our last route into the Golud Corridor. It's official! Ooh, 
Look at their assigned risk factor. No one will use this route. Not to worry. A lot of commerce is going into the Galud Corridor. Somebody's going to want a fast route. The bonuses will come in any day now. Sinigar's main commerce sector. Is the drone ship ready to depart for the Galud Corridor, Garum? All coordinates loaded in? Navi computers have the new route, Skkor. All safety systems shut off. To be a successful merchant lord requires a certain amount of foresight. The new mining colony on Golud Minor desperately needs these components and equipment. I have learned through spies at the Navigator's Guild that this newly registered route should cut your hyperspace time by a third and increase our profits a hundredfold. A risky route passes very close to that red supergiant. I know navigators, guild safety standards, Gorm. Only cowards fear such risks. Primus Galud, a red supergiant. An unstable red supergiant. Ja'a Drone Ship, Zeta-5. Registry, Merchant Lord, Skkaur. Automated Log. Successful arrival at Primus Galud. Navi computer recalculating for secondary jump to Galud Minor Colony. Note, stellar activity in Primus Galud has entered a violent phase. Unexpected danger. Tolerance beyond safety maxims. Hull integrity failing. Preparing to jettison message pod. Loss of all cargo. Final automated log entry. Recommended that this route be discontinued. Ah, look! The best way to enjoy one's success is to know how hard it is to earn. I didn't devour my hatchling mates for nothing, you know. My drone ship should be arriving at the mining world now, selling components to the wealthiest excavators so they can get a jump on the competition, just like I did. The other supply ships won't arrive for days. Shh! What? Destroyed? How can the ship be destroyed? Garm, come in here! Find out who approved that route into the Galud Corridor, and who mapped it. They've cost me dearly, so it is only fair that I repay them. In full. Sinigar Residential District, Public Plaza. Being a hyperspace navigator carries expected risks, but Jory Darragon learns the other costs. The losses. At one time, she had a family, a home, a future, but her parents were killed in the rebellion on Kirik during one of the first unification wars. She and her brother Gav still had their ship and their dwelling and their dreams. But they were forced to sell their dwelling to pay for repairs to Starbreaker 12. Now the ship is damaged again without even a profitable new route to show for their effort. Her life was full of opportunities missed by a hair's breadth, always waiting for her ship to come in. She has a few cheap trinkets, a change of clothes as tattered as the ones she now wears. Oh, Gav, what are we going to do? Empress Teta, ruler of the newly consolidated Seven Worlds, makes a show of meeting with the people and displaying the support given to her by the Jedi Knights. My people, the battles are nearly over, the political strife at an end, and peace is upon us. The Seven Worlds have united in a glorious alliance for greater prosperity and military strength. 
I sense relief in the crowd, Empress. They know your rule will benefit us all. I am Odan Ur, Jedi Knight, newly assigned to the Koros system to help secure Empress Tata's new alliance for the good of the Republic. Jury Derrigan watches from the crowd, her thoughts more on the Guardian Jedi than the Empress herself. I could have been trained as a Jedi Knight. Gav and I both tested high with Force Potential. Mehmet Nadil, you have always been my most trusted advisor. I believe that our days of turmoil are finally at an end. Yes, Empress. As soon as the Carbonite mines get back to full production, we will be one of the richest, most blessed systems in the galaxy. But we didn't have patience for all that training, concentration. We wanted to get rich quick. <sighs> Another bad decision. Arba's repair and salvage. Arba, old friend, how are the repairs coming? When can we get Starbreaker 12 back? Ooh, as soon as you pay for repairs, boy. Relax, you old worm. Some big cha merchant lord is already using our new route. Kong. Hey, be careful! Apologies. Zzz. Apologies. That ship's my livelihood. You mean somebody actually used the crazy course you mapped out? Some are willing to take risks when the stakes are high enough. Shodan Ko of the Navigator's Guild informed me yesterday we'll have a substantial bonus coming at any time now. Come back when you have the credits. Until then, I hold on to your ship. See you soon, Arba. Better look out for yourself, boy. Word is that you and your sister are in big trouble. Siskor wants to examine your internal organs one by one while he keeps you conscious to watch. Skor? Who's that? Shodan Kor at the Navigator's Guild was already found murdered today. Very nasty. Siskor doesn't like being cheated. Your new route led him astray. Feeding time. Patient. Patient. Any moment now. <laughs> yes. Chomp. I have news, Skour. Our investigators have located two young hyperspace navigators. Good. Murdering Shodan Ko only whetted my appetite. But he was just a bureaucrat for the Navigator's Guild. Old and tough. These two sound much more tender. Tell me about them. Their names are Gav and Jory Dalagon. Worthless scum. They are penniless, completely unable to buy back their lives. Hold that thought, Garm. Meep. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I've taken the liberty of hiring assassins. I assume that's how you wish to deal with this problem, Lord Carr. Missed. Uh, what, Gorm? Yes. Send in the assassins. That's what we need.
We've had hard time finding blood work with the Empress Tata settling peace on all seven worlds. We'll take your commission, Cisco. My offspring need to eat. Good. It's an easy assignment, but I want you to buy back my honor. These are the targets. Gav and Jory Daragon. Unfortunately, nobody will much miss them, but I'll be satisfied when they're dead. Don't worry, Jory. Tomorrow I'll petition the Navigator's Guild. We've got those credits coming to us. Yeah, right now we don't have so much as a place to sleep. Not even our ship. Hey, what's that? We'll let you sleep forever! Skakur says hello! Uh, maybe we better rest elsewhere. You really know how to show a girl a good time, Gav. Anything for kicks? Jory! Find us a way out of here! Life has been just full of dead ends lately! I guess we should have learned a bit of Jedi training after all. Too late now. But if the Force is in all things, it is never too late. Click! Halt in the name of the Jedi Knights. Odan Ur and I are here on this world to help keep the peace. <laughs> Meddling Jedis, mind your own business. We've got a contract for these two. We must protect innocents from predators like you. They're not innocents! Neither are you. You did not have to kill Odan Ur. -er. You must look for gentler ways to solve problems. I am shamed, Mehmet Nadir. My people are predators, but I am a Jedi. I should know better. You two should leave. I sense that you are not safe here. Not in Sinegar. Not in all of Koros. That was Mehmet Nadir, the Empress's advisor. Hey, I don't care. We're getting out of here. Where will we go? What do you know that I don't know? When all else fails, we make a plan. And I've got a crazy one. We can make one more run, go further than ever before. Go for broke. But we don't even have a ship. We'll just have to take back the Starbreaker 12. The Monument to Lost Navigators. Plenty of others have lost their lives shooting the hyperspace lanes. We'll just be two more. Jory, nobody will notice if we die. But if we succeed, we'll be free. With one shot, we could make enough credits to pay off everything we owe. Or, if it's a nice enough place, we could just stay there and start over again. Who needs Synagar? Well, something's got to work one of these days. You forgot about those new defensive systems, Gav. Arba warned us. Don't worry. He won't have them programmed to destroy one of his ships. I hope. Piece of cake! Starbreaker 12, return to the surface. Final warning, 
illegal departure. Pick the numbers at random, Jory. You've got nothing to lose this time. Spin the dial and go. This is the one. I can feel it. Then let's go before you change your mind. Into the unknown. Thank you all for tuning in. We invite you to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell to get notified about our next video. Until the Infernal Brotherhood convenes again, my fellow scruffy-looking nerf herders, may the Force be with you.